In this video, I'll be showing you how to sync up your footage using the merge clip function in Adobe Premiere. Before we get started, uh, we're going to need to do some preparation of our files so that we can make it um, much more organized and simple to take care of. As an assistant editor, you would um, find yourself probably doing some of these tasks as well. Um, one of the methods I like to use, if I scroll across, I can see that I have a description and a log note field in the project window. So I'm gonna take and put description right over there. Um, log note is also helpful if I need to make any notes about things. And now I've got that organized, I've imported my footage so in this case i have six shots for scene one and six sound files for scene one now i've decided to organize them by scene because that's probably how i'm going to be editing these also as i scroll through and apply the merge clip function uh, it's much much more easy to do when i have a smaller folder than when i have a much larger folder where i have to do a lot of scrolling so I'm using the tilde key right now to go to full screen. I'm in the assembly mode because it gives me a larger canvas in the project window. And I don't really need both the source and program monitor in Adobe Premiere for syncing. So my first task, I'm gonna start with a picture it looks like. Um, so I've got the first shot queued up here. And what I'm gonna do is scrub through and I'm gonna find the moment where the sticks come together. Now, I wanna be as precise as possible about this. And one of the things that a lot of time, first time filmmakers do is get too anxious about the sticks coming together. And we wanna take a look at that. And with the motion blur, we wanna have a firm closure of those sticks to make sure that um, the audio is gonna match up when we bring that file in together. So here is not great here is better and all i'm going to do at this point is use markers so markers is one of the ways that i can use merge clip in adobe premiere now <clears throat> on more professional shoots i might have a time code slate at which point i can use time code to sync up uh, providing the camera and audio recorders uh, were synced up on the shoot day i could use that method to merge clips now there's some automated software both in premiere and as third-party plugins that allow you to auto sync it it takes a look at the waveform uh, of the audio that was recorded to the camera and the professional audio recorded uh, separately on your audio recorder and merges those together now unfortunately the cameras that we're using here um, there was no scratch track recorded. They sent no um, audio to the camera, so they are completely silent, as if it were a film camera. And so that automatic method also is not applicable. All right, so I'm gonna use markers. Um, I press M for marker. If I press M again, it actually allows me to open it up. I could delete it, I could name it, I could add some comments, I could give it a color all of those different things, but we're just gonna leave it as is. So really I only need to press M once. And I'm gonna do this for every single shot. Now, uh, the reason I brought up description is because I generally don't change the name of my files and clips. Um, instead, I'm going to label this as 1A1. So that's scene 1A, uh, take one and we're gonna pull this one open and what do we got here's 1a take two and again i'm gonna find that moment where the sticks come together press m 1a take two we go to take three hopefully it is take three hopefully my slates are labeled clearly so I can read them and so that I can see the actual sticks coming together. This one's a little soft, but we were still able to pull that off. When I take three and so I'm using the left and right arrow keys on an extended keyboard to find that precise frame. Here is take five. 
I'm scrubbing along with my mouse and we get close there very close m one a take five and finally we get to take six one a take six now this is the visual portion uh, let's head over to sound. So I'm going to pull up that sound file. Now, I see that I have three soundtracks here. One, two, and three. Three is a little bit louder than one and two. Now, this audio was recorded using the Sound Devices 633, which has a po Wave Poly file. Um, and the user had it set up to record a mix track and the ISO tracks. So in this case, they're only using a boom. So one and two are actually a mixed track of the ISO track, the single boom track here. So for our purposes, we really only need the ISO track. In this case, it's called channel three. And all of the tracks are the same. So I wanna make sure that we didn't sneak a lob in there at some point. Um, so it looks like it was only boom. So what I'm going to do is another, you know, feature to get rid of all of the extra space that I would need because I don't really need this mix track here. That would be something that I would perhaps send to the camera as reference audio. So since I don't need these two additional tracks, I'm going to right click on the audio and choose modify audio channels. In this case, I'm going to, in this dialog box, I'm going to choose one, but I'm going to select the third channel source, right? This is my isolation track. Uh, this is the audio that I want to hang on to. Um, one and two are the mix tracks. Click OK, and now I have one singular track for each one of these. So again, making sure that I'm on number 98. I'm going to scrub ahead to the description so that I can hear. Scene one alpha take one. So they called out that slate before actually clacking the sticks together. Uh, if I zoom in on this just a little bit here, I can see frame by frame. And I'm going to again use the arrow key to find that moment where the sticks actually come together. So this would be the frame right before the sticks come together. That one that in the visual sort of had a blurred sticks to it where it looked like it was almost closed. Uh, but this one here, the sticks actually do come together. So just like the picture, I'm going to hit M to make a marker for that. And then I'm going to come over to the description and I'm going to call that one A underscore one. So I know that this shot goes with this shot. So do the same thing for take two, ensure that it is take two. All right, they called it out as take two. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here so I can see that. And there we go. This one, you can see that my frame, again, audio isn't necessarily gonna lay nicely on one frame of picture. Um, it may lie just before it, just after it, right in the middle of it. So you, here we can see that there's just a tiny bit of space before that slate. What you wanna do is make sure the waveform is right there in the, within that frame. I'm gonna hit marker for that. And we're gonna call this one a take two. All right, so this one, I wanna see this other, oh, it's just a bump in the microphone. Sometimes uh, you can have a false slate or something else. So you wanna make sure um, maybe there was a second sticks that happened, um, but in this case, everything is fine. I like to zoom in a little bit to ensure uh, sometimes it's clearly obvious where that slate is. Other times it might be this or that frame. Uh, I've set the marker 1A take 3. Take 4. And there we go. I'm going to take that frame. So I think it's right there. I'm gonna zoom in and confirm just for the purposes of the video. Marker right there. So 
So this is definitely one of the more time consuming. Parts of the process, um, but spending the time now will help in frustration later, things being out of sync, or having the wrong audio with a different picture. Um, all of those things are possible. Um, you'll want to check your work here in just a moment. Mm -hmm. Now that I've entered a marker for the audio and the picture, I'm going to Command Select. So that means I'm going to select 98, and I'm clicking right on the icon there. And I'm going to click on the picture while holding down the command key on a Mac. And I'm going to right click. And I choose merge clips. So uh, this dialog box, the first time that it comes up, it may look slightly different for you. Um, I'm going to choose clip marker because it saw that there were markers for both of those, which is great. But you see, I could also merge clips by in points, out points, time code, as I talked about, if I had a time code recorder and a time code slate. Um, and I could sync through audio channel one. Um, I could use the time code from a clip if I had it, but again, I'm not using the time code for that. And finally, this checkbox is important. Remove a audio from AV clip. So I do want that checked because the red camera or other cameras that I might be using to record the picture may record a audio track or eight of them in the case of the Sony F55. Um, but I don't want any of that because I didn't actually plug a microphone into it at all. So I want to remove that audio from the audio video clip. So that means I'm going to get rid of the audio from the camera and only use the audio that was recorded with my audio recorder. Next up, uh, I've got some labeling going on up here. It's retaining the, um, the name of the picture clip from the camera. In this case, though, I'm going to rename it 1A underscore 1. So that I know this is scene 1A, take one, merged. And later I can organize some of that stuff into its own folder as well. So I click OK, and instantly it creates that merged clip. So now I have a new picture and sound track that I can double click on. In this case, the sound is much longer because typically we roll sound before we roll camera and the sound has been rolling for a little while and then the camera starts rolling and we see the slate and we hear the call out from the camera assistant and the sticks come together as we expected Something came up, and I need you to get this done, right? So our sticks look good, and I got to the first bit of dialogue here, and it's showing me that everything is in sync, and there's no problem uh, with any of the work that I've done. So um, it automatically created that 1A merged clip right there. I would probably create a new bin, calling it Scene 1 Merged or something like that. And I'm gonna put all of my files in there. So one more time, just for fun. Um, I've got scene two, or take two, command select, right click, and merge clips. And I'm gonna call this one a take two. Again, clip marker. So in this case, I have something is not right with this. So um, I have this correct. So I'm gonna cancel out of there for a moment. And I think I remember what's going on here. Um, I did enter a marker there, but it also has an in and out point. Perhaps I was using this for a different point. So if I option IO and get rid of those in out points, and again, go back and command select those merge clip and my clip markers are just fine. I don't need to name them or anything because I only had the one in there, uh, but the endpoints saw that as a possibility for merging clips rather than the clip marker. So if you, ha if you have anything but clip marker come up, then you may have to go and fix that. If clip marker is not selectable, then perhaps you forgot to enter a marker for that particular shot. 
There we go, and I'm gonna go check my work. Same thing, I can scrub ahead to that marker. Slate looks good. So the sound is coming in just as the sticks smash together. We hear that reverberation. I'm going to drop that right in there. All right. So uh, the reason that I like to do merge clip instead of some other methods uh, with merge clip, if I take and put that in my timeline here, you see how messed up that looks right now. Um, I could unlink that and shorten this and then relink and shorten this and relink uh, if I wanted to maintain that. But obviously, I would probably choose an in and an out point for that particular take. So I'm not too concerned about that. Um, but one of the reasons that I do like uh, merge clip as a function is that it doesn't strip out the red metadata. So if I take a look at this uh, in editing mode and we go to effects controls and I see that I still have access to all of the metadata for this particular shot. Um, that's one of the reasons that I like to do this merge clip. So I still have all the metadata that I could apply to this particular clip. So merge clip. Uh, from there, we edit as normal and everything's good. Stay organized and you'll be happier.